What's up, Vajero fam? For tonight, we're going out in West Hollywood. Oh, hi, Mac. On the Sunset Strip now, so first stop, we're going to the one hotel to grab some drinks. What's crazy about the Sunset Strip is because there's so many different hotels here, a lot of them allow you to pop in, grab a drink, and the views, the scenery, super beautiful. Huge fan of Peroni and also this bar or hotel, hotel slash bar slash venue, Hotel Ziggy. One of my favorite places in West Hollywood, right on the Sunset Strip. As you can tell from the footage, it's such a great vibe here and they're huge on live music. So on almost every night, they have like a free live show or an album release party or something always going on. Also, look at this cool setup. So insane. Now we're heading to the most famous comedy venue in the entire world. Now this spot, Barney's Beamery, is legendary. So it's wild, as you can see from the footage, Jim Morrison used to sit at that exact spot having some drinks. And in addition, Quentin Tarantino wrote part of Pulp Fiction while sitting at Barney's Beanery. Now we're getting to the true heart of West Hollywood. I'm not going to do that. 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 I
What a night. I love going out in West Hollywood. As you saw from the footage and from the video, I first went to the Sunset Strip. I've already done an entire video about it. I'll post it in the description below. Bounced around to a couple different places. There's so many spots on the Sunset Strip. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to go to a few, like Hotel Ziggy, uh, the Comedy Store, Hotel One, just because those are fairly close in proximity. Then walked down to Barney's Beanery. And like I said, that's such a legendary spot. The fact that Jim Morrison sat, and you can see the plaque right there on the bar. Quentin Tarantino wrote part of Pulp Fiction at the bar. And I gotta say, it's probably the most cliche dive bar I've ever been to with karaoke and trivia during the week. Of course, on the weekends, it's super packed. Tons of games to do as well. And then I walked to the main LGBTQ plus area with the Abbey as a kind of the main legendary spot. But of course, there's so many great bars and clubs just in that area. And I'm not gonna lie, that's probably one of the craziest and best areas in LA to go out in period. Most of the bars and clubs typically don't have a cover unless it's like a special event or something going on. And I will say too, for the footage I got, this is both bittersweet. It can get so packed, it gets insanely difficult to get in. So I did go earlier in the night to be able to bounce to pretty much every single venue. So I will say some of the footage I got, I know might have looked a bit empty, like, oh wow, there's not that many people there. But trust me, by the time it's like 11.30 p.m. or midnight, every place is insanely packed. I went there for Halloween recently, for Halloween night, and there's around 400,000 people who went out there. That area of West Hollywood is always wild, always crazy. You're pretty much almost always guaranteed to have a good time there. West Hollywood, one of my favorite places to go out in in the entire LA area.